Hello, in this video I'm going to explain the key pulse stat. The key pulse stat increases when you increase your skill or your strength stat. As you can see in the status screen, the description for this stat says that it affects the initial bonus given for key recovery from a key pulse when your attack hits. Now that's quite a circular explanation and appears to be a bit confusing. It seems like it will increase the amount of key you get back if you hit an enemy. This is what it does, but it does not increase the total amount of key that you lose. It, it sorry, that you get back. Instead, what it does is it pre-fills part of the bar that fills up. I'll explain this with a demonstration. When I do this demonstration, try not to look at the naked William in front of you. I know that it is very distracting. Instead, watch my key bar, the little green bar on the top left of the screen. I'm going to do a axe attack in high stance now. <coughs> See how the green bar went down and there was a little bit of the bar that remained black. Watch again. It is black. That part cannot be refilled. Watch again and notice that the other rest of the bar is red. This part does refill. When it reaches the end, you can press your stance button to get it back. You can also press it earlier and cancel immediately. I'll mash it. So the disadvantage of the advantage of cancelling it earlier is that you get to do another attack sooner. For example, sorry, I dodged then. That doesn't really work. Or I can do a high stance and then a high stance. Oh, I accidentally switched. Hang on. I'll do a high stance into a strong attack. So, as you can see, that uses a lot of key. Now, what this key pulse stat does is watch the bar again. Do you see how that red part of the bar is half filled when I hit the hit the crystal? That is because the crystal uh, acts similarly to an enemy, and that is the condition. That this talks about when it says the initial bonus given for key recovery. Essentially what it does is it pre-fills the bar with a little bit of blue and it does this before your key actually begins to regenerate. It actually pre-fills it before you can recover and cancel the move. That means that if I cancel the move with a earlier at the earliest possible opportunity I get that pre-filled amount back immediately. It is a bonus. See? So it is advantageous to have a higher amount of the key pulse stat. It means that you get more of your bonus. In addition to this, if you do more than one hit in a combo, note that this does not work with skills. It only works with combos, as in your default press the square button. Notice how when I did the second hit in the combo, it carried over the previous key pulse stat bonus amount and then added a second amount. It was an equal size. Watch again carefully. This means that when you're doing longer combos, you can get a lot more. I can demonstrate this best with Windstorm because it will continuously increase it as I do the attack. See how it's going up? So it doesn't just overwrite the bonus with each hit, it actually adds a little bit more to each, each hit as it goes. Now the, as far as I can tell, the bonus is not exactly as it says in the stat. It doesn't seem to be a... like it doesn't seem to give you 483. For one thing I don't have a 483 key bar, I'm pretty sure. I have 105 key bar, so it can't be giving me the entire 483. So it is a modifier, a multiplier of some kind. And I believe what it does is it affects the percentage because a larger attack gets more back. Note that when you use skills, for example, multiple hit skills, for example being... Uh, that is a single button press, and as such it only gave one, one tick back. It gave a lot, but it didn't go up again. Whereas if I do a combo, which requires two button presses, I get two. Now the advantage of this is that you can 
string together combos with less delay, allowing you to do more damage in a shorter amount of time more efficiently. So the higher your skill and strength, the more efficient you can be when you're trying to output a lot of DPS with combos and skills. Let's try that again, away from you. Pretty clear. So that's what the key pulse stat does. Now I want to explain a second stat, and that is on a particular piece of equipment, and it is the A Swordsman's Power set piece bonus. This is the one that says, increases the amount of key recovered in a key pulse. Excuse me while I put all my clothes back on. The reason why I have so much stamina is so that I can wear this entire thing and still get B agility, allowing me to still move around. Now, when I use, I, I get the you get the set bonus by having the sword equipped as well. You need the whole you need the sword and all all the pieces of the armor. Now it will work when you're using a different weapon as well, so I can still demonstrate it with my axe. So, notice that when I swing in open air, compared to when I did not have this set bonus, it actually uses less in terms of total amount. Look at the black bar again. It's smaller. I'll take off a set piece so you can show you again. Again, watch the black part at the end of the green bar. Sorry. It's bigger. It reduced it by 30%. What that means is that this set bonus actually increases the amount of skill you get. I can, Again, I can show you very clearly by doing a short combo in light stance. When I do this, I want you to watch the edge of the red bar. Not the green bar. I want you to watch the edge of the red bar, which tells you how much you have available to refill. See how it goes down in little tiny bits. When I equip the entire set, watch it again. Did you see that it's very, very slowly going up? Now it doesn't always do this, so don't get too excited. It still goes down when I'm using a heavy attack, or something that uses a lot of stamina, but these small attacks use such little key that it actually increases the amount of pre-filled key that I have every time I do a combo hit. And of course, if I combine this, I am using even less. So if you combine this with Flux while wearing the full Swordsman set, hang on, I, get, I got that wrong. I basically never run out of stuff, even though I'm not waiting for a full keep up. That's how efficient you are in this set. And that is how useful skill is. Note that I do not have a hell of a lot of skill or strength. I only have 20 in each. And the vast majority of my stat went into stamina. That's because I I use axes a lot. I also have dexterity because I like Kusaragama and I like to use Nijitsu. They're not really relevant to the build. What you need to up is this. And after and all this. However, this be aware that strength increases the key pulse stat by half the amount of skill. If you just want to have the maximum amount that you can get, you should increase skill until strength is giving you more, and then start increasing strength until skill is not giving you it, until skill is better again. And then you just up both of these until you get the maximum key pulse, and then you will be the most possibly efficient and fastest. Uh, note that when I talked about skills, I can actually explain that with a Kusarigama. I said that skills don't give you the full amount. The blade spin move with the Kusarigama hits multiple times. So that hits at least three times. You would expect it to give a lot back, but it only gives it back once. I thought I'd better explain where you get the set piece and the weapon that I'm using from. 
You have to get to the Sekigahara region and complete the mission Immortal Flame. Once you have done that, you will unlock the ability to fight the highest level of your weapons, of, your, of the various weapons. Now you need to get 500,000 proficiency with dual swords and then you can fight, then you can unlock the mission The Grimace Blades. And you fight Ashikaga Yoshiteru until his smithing text drops for both the weapon and the armor. And I do, if you want to know how to farm that the most efficiently, you'll have to look elsewhere because that is not the purpose of, of this video. Thank you for watching.